Here we go! Today I thought I would do something a little different and do a top 10 list. Yes, before you ask, I am currently working on another Geometry Dash video, but have to have time to get it ready and to make sure it will be up in a few weeks or days. I don't know when yet, so please don't hate me. Anyway, yes guys, the channel has finally reached over a thousand subscribers. This is a huge milestone for me because I was expecting several more years before getting that high and I have to thank you guys for the tremendous support you were giving me and my little brother. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. Anyways guys, this video is long overdue because I have been doing a lot of research on this topic and I've put a lot of time into this video, so I hope you guys do enjoy. Do note that none of these are in particular order and YouTube is a fickle beast sometimes. And none of these tips will guarantee immediate results, although they can, it's just very unlikely. To be honest, I kind of jumped into the YouTube train a little late, but nevertheless, have no fear, it is possible to get big on YouTube, and here are some of the best do's and don'ts to help your YouTube channel grow. Number 10. Be creative. One of the hardest things to avoid on YouTube is being creative. When I say this, I'm referring to doing something that has not been done before. This will attract attention to your channel and make it stand out. However, you must pick a topic that is interesting and that people will click on because they are interested. I'm guilty of jumping into the gaming area, which to be honest is one of the hardest areas to get into because of the sheer size and the amount of content that's already on YouTube about gaming. Other popular topics that are taken to an extensive level are Let's Plays, Review Videos, Try Not To Laugh, Cringe, Cry, Etc. Challenges, Fail Videos, Dank Memes, Vines, you name it, you know it, you've probably seen it. You want your channel to stand out, even if they are one of the topics above, make sure you try to be different in your approach to them and make sure you try to do something that will interest the audience, not just you alone. Number 9. Invest in your channel. A lot of people go into YouTube with very bad equipment, and this will make it so people actually try to avoid you. Bad equipment generally ranges from a low resolution camera, bad microphones, and using free to use apps for recording gameplay and such. These items need to be avoided, and it would be wise to actually purchase some good quality gear to record with. A lot of higher end PCs have great built in cameras and microphones, but you're really going to want something that's actually made for the task at hand. You can get these items on Amazon or at your local retailer. They usually generally provide excellent items to help you out, and remember, they don't have to be expensive. If you are into gaming like I am, an Elgato HD capture card, a gaming console with an HDMI port, a decent PC, and a good microphone is almost perfect to get you started. Number 8. Editing your videos. One of the most common mistakes people tend to do, and it's not really that their videos are bad, they're just simply unedited. Remember in school how a good paper needs to be revised and edited? Well that's exactly how you should treat your videos. A good YouTube video has an intro and an outro. There's a lot of free software available online to help make these. They are meaningless though without a tool to put them into your video. That's why to get a good YouTube editing software is a must. And yes, to get the good stuff you're going to have to shell out some more dough. Although there are some free software online, nothing beats a good software that has custom options, frame rates, what format you want it, etc. In case you're wondering, I use Sony Vegas. It's available on Steam for around $60. Number 7. Make your channel look professional. Something that is very easy to do and often not even done is making good channel art and thumbnails. For the most part, this is even free unless you want to pay someone to make it look more professional. Yes, those are people out there that will actually design it for you. Be sure to make your channel stand out with unique art and a unique profile picture. Using pre-existing artwork found online is not the way to go, however, because someone already owns these and makes your channel subject to a copyright strike or even temporary channel shutdown if it goes against the channel guidelines. Keep it clean. Be yourself and make sure your channel is appealing and represents what you want to be on YouTube. Number 6. Avoid Copyright Ah, the biggest and most annoying problem on the YouTube these days. Nothing is more annoying than spending an hour or two in a game, editing it all, getting some highlights, spending hours editing it, and posting it to YouTube with amazing detail and work only to get an email within 10 minutes saying you have received a copyright claim on your video. Not only is this super frustrating, but to be honest, for the most part, these are harmless unless you are trying to monetize your videos. Do note that copyright for the most part is automatic and over 90% of the time it's not even the video itself, it's actually the music from the game or whatever you chose to be in the video for its audio. 
There are simple ways to avoid this, however. When you edit your video, make sure your audio is around 90% your voice and 10% game audio. Making the game sound soft in the background or near audioless is a great because the content is mainly you and it'll pass through the sensors. If you are not doing a game, however, you'll want to use non-copyrighted music or fan-made music with permission that says it's available for use. Make sure it's free though, because some of these do cost money. Number 5. Avoid Offensive Content I have always found that using bad or offensive language can easily off-put your channel. If you ever hear cursing on YouTube and it doesn't bother you, that's great for you, but think about it. If you avoid offensive content, you open the doors for a wider audience. A lot of popular YouTubers, Dan TDM and Peanut Butter Gamer for example, do not allow offensive content in their videos. Think of your channel as a video or a movie. For the most part, you want to keep the language at or below a PG-13 rating, preferably below. Another thing to avoid is politics or any other content that will get you dislikes and make people avoid and hate you. Remember, keep it clean and stay in the green. Number 4. Live Streams Ah uh, yes, a gamer and a media favorite. Live streaming can help your channel grow exponentially if you keep at it and try hard. However, there are a few things to note if you do plan on streaming. Having a good internet connection is your number one priority in this aspect. Having a wire connection is the best way to do this. This will keep the channel clean and lag free. If your internet is suboptimal, simply lower the resolution of your screen. A good way to test this is in private streams to find out what it looks like. Remember, most people would rather watch a low resolution stream that's not fizzing around than one that is. Number 3. Making Money Okay guys, I'm going to just go out from the start and say you should never, ever, ever start a YouTube channel or a live streaming service for money and definitely not expect a career out of it. Is it possible to do so? Oh yeah. Is it likely? Definitely not, and impossible if you're under 18 of age, legally anyway. Monetization should only be used if your content follows the guidelines of YouTube. Asking for money in your videos and streams is one of the best ways to get people to click off your video as soon as it starts. Let time go and see how your channel stacks up to the competition before even beginning to monetize. And when you think you're ready, go ahead and go for it. But again, be sure it follows the guidelines. This is easily done by checking the AdSense rules underneath the code of conduct. Alternatively, most people make more money by stream donations. These are generally not monitored by music copyrights and are easily done and set up. So if you want to make money and you don't want to get in trouble for it, Streamlabs and Twitch is a good place to start on your streaming. Number 2. Be Yourself Don't overdo your personality just for views, please. Remember, your channel will be more pleasing for the viewer if you simply be yourself. Faking your voice, wearing goofy clothes, and being generally unlikable are things you want to avoid. Be yourself and respect your audience. Always respond to as many comments as you can, thank your subs, and just be kind. I know this is shorter than the other numbers, but to think about it, this is really all you need to do to be yourself. Just be yourself. Number 1. Real Subscribers and Begging I can't stress this enough. Yes, this is probably one of the most important tips today. If you have a hundred subs and you begged and pleaded for them in the comments, external apps, etc., guess what? That number may as well be zero because they are not real subscribers. You want your channel to be honest and with honest subs because honest subs come back. People that come back watch your videos. People that watch your videos give you more views. Fake ones don't. Simple as that. Sub for sub videos and stuff like that is all bad for your channel because when the subs do come, you can't tell how many people actually care about your hard work. If you have 10,000 subs and your videos get 1 to 50 views in total, then you need to rethink your content because something ain't working. Remember, keep content continuous and fresh. Never beg and whine for subs and likes, period. And there we have it guys, 10 easy tips to help you get your YouTube channel started and growing. Don't forget guys, I upload different content around every week, I say around, don't hold me on my promises. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a like and a sub if you want to, completely optional. Anyway guys, I hope this helps you and your YouTube mission. I know this is a very different than my usual videos and yes it was scripted just in case you can't tell, but I just want to help as many people as I can because you guys deserve a chance at the spotlight too. As always, this is your friendly neighborhood gamer, Ajay Lightning Rod, signing off.